Hello, today we're going to be making a variable to the player in Roblox Studio that's only for themselves. So uh, first what you want to do is you want to uh, make a script in the server script service. Just insert one. And on that script, you want to uh, you wanna delete this to print hello world and type game dot players dot player add it um connect and then function which makes the makes the function this is going to occur and then and then uh plr now press enter and now you have this function right here and since it's in the server script service it will run the function so first I'm going to define a variable to do local folder equals instance dot new folder comma plr so, yes yeah, so that's the definition of a variable yeah and now let's we'll make the name of the folder so folder dot name uh, capital M N A M E name equals and uh, you can call it whatever you want but I'm gonna call it choice because the, the script that I'm gonna be making is something that a player can choose so now we're gonna define an another uh, variable and I'm just gonna it's gonna be local number equals instance it's instance dot new and int value and then comma which it's yeah so we'll do comma and then folder and now we'll just name it so uh, I called it number because the, it's, it, the value this type of value will only accept uh, numbers but like I could change this to a string value or a bool value the bool value you you have a true or false statement and the string value uh, would just do a string for example a or like hello so now we're gonna make uh, uh, the name of the number variable we created. So uh, do number dot name equals quotation marks number. So uh, keep in mind. So when you're gonna like be right here when you're choosing uh, what uh, object like uh, what object you're gonna insert, you need to have quotation marks around the um, object you're gonna insert. And also, when you're when you're defining names or making names, you need to put quotation marks around it too. So here, uh, I've completed this function. That's that part. So we're gonna play the game and test it. So you see, here I am in the game, and I'm gonna. Uh, just, just to see if it's working, I'll go in players and then onto my character. And here's the folder that we created called choice. And here's that value that we created that's called number. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stop the game. And we're gonna insert another script, which this is not, this is optional. So you don't actually have to do this. Uh, but I'm just, I'm just gonna make a, a really quick uh, GUI uh, um, that you're just gonna press a button and it'll set the value of the personal variable that I created as we shall call it kind of So now I'm gonna start the scripting of the GUI. You can skip uh, skip this part, and I'll, I'll show a time up here to skip to. But I'm just gonna go through this. So first, I'm gonna delete that, 
and uh, first, so I'm gonna make a variable, the local, um, and I'll name it a uh, uh, button button B, uh, just in case if I'm gonna use it again. I sometimes do this when I'm coding or scripting, so uh, I don't accidentally use the variable again. But this is a local a variable, which means it's only going to be used on this script. So, like locally. So, so I, I don't need to worry about that right here. So, uh, button B uh, equals, and then I'll do. So, um, I'm not going to do the game dot workspace or game dot starter GUI. I'm gonna do uh, to, to, to make it go faster, and in case I I change the name of this, I'm gonna do script dot parent dot text button button. So that means that it's the script, and then the parent of the script, which is the screen GUI, and then the screen GUI is children, which is the text button. Yeah, so it's like the parent, and then inside the parent is the text button. So we're kind of jumping around here. So, so there I've defined that part. So now I'm going to start the function. So I'll do button B dot mouse button one down, which is like a, the click, basically. Connect. And then function. And drop a line. Yeah, and then on the next line, I'm going to define another variable that's going to make it so it'll have to look for that, um, the variable inside the players. So, I'm going to call it local number find. And remember that local is just, it's just going to be, it's just local use. So you can make multiple variables, but as long as they're local, of the same name. Uh, you can change the name of uh, some of the variables. Just be sure that um, like the variable is like, so you don't accidentally use my variable on your variable. Um, yeah. So then uh, inside, so local number find equals game dot players dot local player because this is a local script I'm going to say inside the local player that's like the for example it's me who has this GUI that I'm pressing the button down and it's important to have a local script here because with GUIs it's only for one person so that's why you need the local script local scripts can also be used in tools sometimes local player dot choice wait yeah. so here let me just double check the name yeah choice so it's a lowercase C choice for me and that's that's my uh uh value uh the, the folder name so remember this this part can be whatever well, whatever you chose but has to be on the folder the same name as this folder's name because the folder is an object. Um, and, and after the choice. And I'm going to use a thing called find first child. So what this does. It finds the first thing inside choice. That's going to be like what I'm, what I'm going to name it. Or whatever I want it to be. So I'm going to call it. What I'm looking for is number. Because over here in script. Uh, my uh, int value is number. Well, input value. But... So I'm looking for the number. Yeah, and now, so, so now I've defined what uh, my variable. So I'll drop another line. And now I'm going to actually do my actions. So I'm going to do number find dot value equals one. Uh, so I'm gonna this is the I'm gonna change the value of the number 
by using this variable, it shows the location. And and then remember to include dot value because it is a int value, and you need to have the dot value because it's the ob the object. This part because it's an object, and you need to. For example, when I did dot name, I can't just say number find equals one because the uh, Lua or the script will not recognize that. Number uh, find dot value equals one. But another way I could do it. Another way. I could do number find find dot value equals number find dot value plus one. So that's saying that the value of number find is number find its value plus one. So every single time you click this button, essentially, uh, the number will go up. So here, let's test this by running this, the game. So here, let's keep an eye on the our variable. And as I click that, you see, it changed to one, so it worked. So sometimes you may get these errors for in the local script where it says, like, oh, you tried to do number find, um, like, arithmetic attempt. I mean, that's because you don't have value. I've encountered this error before when I was first starting out with this kind of concept, I guess you could say. And it was very annoying, but now I figured out how to fix that. I hope I have helped you with what you want in script, and I hope you guys make a, a lot of good games that include my tutorial. And it, thank you for watching.